All right. Kenman here. Today we are on die project number 32. <laughs> That is right. We have successfully done 31 die projects. No, 30. 15 is still on hold. Jeez, is he ever going to complete 15? I don't know. Maybe I threw it away. Maybe not. Long story short, my playlist is right there. You can check out all 31 previous dies and eight different steps of number 15 which is still not complete but been having a lot of fun with the project gonna keep going with it still have some knives to do stuff to talk about i really love doing the, the dies and the customizations and uh let's keep going before we start not sponsored by anyone and i purchase everything at retail price i do these videos because i love discussing knives and sharing info and ideas with others. If you have any questions or thoughts, you know what to do. Please feel free to comment below. All right. Right here is the stuff I currently have for the dye project. But what, wait, what is, what are, what are, what's, what's going on over here? That is not Jade. I'm not sure what is happening. Well, if you did not know, <clears throat> For example, this Kaiser Lieb, which is an awesome, awesome knife. Really cool. I like the dirty uh, green micarta that Kaiser makes. Um, this one does have a couple weird kind of spots. See those there? I haven't decided if I want to try to weather it next to them to kind of make them break in. Or maybe I want to try to dye this. And uh, that might cover it up or it might make it worse or who knows but you can dye micarta i never have but it is something that i apparently some people have done and it does take dye i really like this lead a lot it's going to be a user a worker feels really good in my hand that button lock obviously works great just feels just like something that i just want to carry and use um, but I'm considering maybe getting into trying to dye a few micarta items and this could be potentially one of them. Has anyone done micarta before? What do they think about it? Should I do it? Should I not do it? Comment below and if so, what color should I do it in if I were? All right, Get out of our life because obviously micarta, here's red micarta, not trying to hijack, but you can get micarta in some different colors. It is um, well, actually, then you use the, my, the material they use to make the micarta because you can get like denim micarta and canvas and all different types of things. But uh, long story short, is it, we could try to dye it if you're interested. Two, um, I am not sure, don't really know, but what I do know is this is a Rough Rider Trapper with a bone handle. This is a Rough Rider Trapper with a bone handle. All right, these are the exact same price, basically the exact same knife, but this one is red and this one is natural bone color. How did they get that bone color that red? I'm gonna do some research, look into it, and if it looks like something that is logistically possible, I would consider maybe trying to do something like that. The problem is, is most of the bone items that I have, like this, these are pins. This is not a easily take apart and put back together scenario. Um, but I did see someone where they just chucked the whole knife in some dye or whatever and it worked. And I don't know, I mean, it's only a few minutes if you cleaned it up and removed all the water after the words, maybe. I don't know. But it's just a discussion, a thought. If these are both bone, or maybe I have some knives that need handles, I could buy some natural bone and then try to dye that or something. If that's anything anyone knows about, comment below. Something I'm considering. But, excuse me, I'm take a little. Ah, sip. Moving on, got a couple of send cuts. 
This is the Big Beast Sen Cut Glide Strike. Really fun, big old knife. I, Kenman, Dan Kenman, enjoy a large knife. Um, as I've said before with the die project, sometimes these knives, they kind of sit here in this pile. And I like to have things for inspiration and kind of look at them for a while until I come up with what it is I want to do. Um, so because of that, often I don't really carry some of these newer knives that I get. I've had these and I haven't really had a chance to kind of carry them around and enjoy them. And so sometimes it's like I really want to get to it and get dying it so that I can carry this knife around. I'm excited to kind of do that. But I'm also one that I will look at them for a while and kind of like to stare at them on the table. Get that inspiration until I come up with a color that I like. And then go from there. So sometimes I go out of order. I grab newer knives or older knives depending on as that inspiration hits and I'm ready to go. Send cut glide strike. What color do we want it? I have not decided. I am not sure on what I want to do. Give me some thoughts. And uh, maybe that's the color I will end up doing it in. Send cut glide strike. Okay. We have the send cut episode. Another fun knife. Send cut makes some cool stuff. And I have done a lot of dies with some jade send cut blades. Look at the way this kind of almost harpoon kind of shape blade with also a crazy kind of clip point. Really nice little lot. See how my thumb sits in there? Oh, that feels great. Really like the way this knife looks. It's got a cool style with that blade. Flipper tab works really good. Um, it's got a couple little accent lines on it when we do dies with knives. Let me hijack a sec. If you look at this one here, you can see those um, lines stick out really well. This is another send cut. Ah, losing my mind here. But uh, yeah, you see how like those lines pop a little bit more. So once you do the die, if you've got a handle like this one here where you can almost barely can see those two lines, they are going to be accented a little bit once we do the die. That is the Send Cut episode. What color would you like to see that one? I'm still undecided on that. All right, we're getting close. This is the Migron Talisum. This is my second Talisum. The first one, I did the trifecta. Uh, I did the laser mark on the blade. I dyed the handle. And then I swapped out this clip and put a nice um, titanium pocket clip and I anodized it to make it look even better. So it was a KDK trifecta. I, I like the knife so much I bought another one and we're going to do it again. This one has some gray. What color would you like to see it? I'm thinking like a green or a blue would be cool on this. I could maybe also do another trifecta, get another pocket clip and swap that out. What does everyone think about the Migron? Talisum, what would you like to see? That leaves us with the Civivi Cache. Oh, I just had one, and I've had it for a while now, but when I saw it, I had never seen it. Somehow it passed under my radar for over a year. Very cool knife. The G10 has some close ups. See the little squares? Inside the squares, there's little details that are even a finer. Extra little micro texture, just feels so good. Got a little choke up point there. It's got these brushed, the way this kind of bolster sits out and then the scale recesses into it. I'm interested to take this apart and kind of see the way this is designed and cut. Very neat knife, very cool. Has that fuller for flicking out really easy. Get your thumb in there, but I poorly did it there. Hands are still all beat up from my fishing trip over the weekend, and then I cut myself on my new knife right there, of course. Um, flipper tab works really good. So this is our last looks. Check out the action on that flipper tab there. Fuller flicks out really nice. It's never going to look like this again. I'm going to get that pocket clip swap to the other side. So this will be my show side. Let's everyone think about this knife. Very excited to get going on that. All right. That is our last looks. Let's bring in the standard board. 
set up the dinner table as I like to do. Right. Dinner is served. Yes, okay. Should this be the thumbnail or should it be the beginning with the other knives? Yeah. Okay. So we are taking this bad boy apart. What are we at? 10 minutes, 28 seconds. G, G, G whiz. Ken man, you just go on and on and don't get anything done, do you? All right. Let's go. We've got a T8 for the captive pivot from Civivi, which is great. It looks like the that is also a T8, which is very cool. I am slowly kind of loosening everything. What can happen when you got like these barrels, if you loosen one side, not the other, sometimes the barrel can get stuck to that other side and you have a hard time loosening it and it kind of spins free with it. So if you do both sides kind of evenly started, it seems to break free of both and then it's easy to kind of just get it completely apart. I had one where I fully took one side off and then I just had a hell of a time trying to get the other side to go, kept spinning with it. I ended up having to put the first side back on just to get it to go loose on the other side. So learn from that. Take your time. Don't strip anything out. Well, uh, sometimes pocket clips. All right, there's that. That was the only T6s, so the rest of these are the T8s. And go ahead and finish this up. So far, pretty easy. I'm interested to see what's inside. Since it's a liner lock, it should be a fairly simple design. But I like the way it is with these. Very, very interested to see how it's going to look after we do the dye. What does everyone think? What color do we think we should do? Or do you think Kenman's already decided on what color he's going to do? Or what? Comment below. Okay, look at this. Alright, I'm going to set that upside down for a second. Because I've got an oil situation. Alright, this is clean right there. Boom. Just because I'm using this cloth, it's basically to help soak up the oils, but at the same time, if I can wipe a little bit off before I set it on here, help keep it a little bit cleaner, then I will do so. So in this case, I've been kind of watching these, the bearings. See how the bearings have an open side that you can see into it? and then a closed side where just the balls are sitting out. I've seen knives both ways. I've put them together both ways. I try to copy how it was when I took it apart. But in this case, it was open side toward the blade, and then the, the covered side was out, both sides. So you can see the open side is up, so when the blade sits on it. So that's the way it is. I've seen a lot of them. There people have said, oh, no, it's supposed to be the other way. Well, I think that depending on what it's pushing against, it may not ever make a difference. But again, I like to pay attention to that and then try to duplicate it when I put it back together. Just so it's just kind of, a, you know, try to put everything back the way it was. Um, okay, I'm going to set that on there to keep those from getting soaked up by the potential... cloth move this stuff over these pins come out so there's one big pin up at the top and then this small kind of barrel oh i guess that would be for a la like a lanyard loop right through there that's cool and then this should separate from this look at how thin this is look at that right wow what a cool design huh I love it. This knife is great. Quick wipe that off. Wipe that off right there. And we've done it. What are we at? 14 minutes? Okay, we have the scales for the Civivi Cache. Does Kenman already know what color he's gonna do? What color would you like me to see? Like to like to see this in? Uh, comment below. 
Part two is going to be coming up soon where we're going to go ahead and put that custom die on here and then get it put back together. So watch out for that in the next couple days. Um, got Blade Show Texas coming up pretty soon, so I'm getting excited for that. More custom stuff coming in the future. Got that scrimshaw action I'm about to get going on. Comment below if you want to see me try to die some bone handles and how I would go about doing that. And also with the micarta. And uh, yeah, that is going to be it for today. This was the die project number 32, the beginning of it. So yeah, 32 part two coming up soon. That's it for today. If you enjoy what you see please hit that like button and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Helps me out, and I really appreciate it. Stay sharp. I'll see you soon.